Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I decided to do a video on some equipment that I just recently uh, picked up. It's uh, some equipment that uh, I've been looking for for quite some time. Not that I'm very capable of uh, uh, using the equipment, but I'm certainly looking forward to learning how to use it in the coming days, weeks, months, and years. Um, but anyway, um, you can't really, you know, pick and choose uh, when it comes to uh, picking equipment up uh, second hand. You basically have to go with what's available. And I was fortunate enough to find uh, this, uh, these three pieces of equipment. The first one being an Awatsu SS7602 uh, oscilloscope. It's just 20 megahertz. It's two channel as you can see. <clears throat> but I won't delve into much more of the information other than to say that it was made in Japan and it's from the 1990s I do believe and it's uh, oh by the way all this equipment has been uh, physically tested uh, to be uh, absolutely sure that it's working as it should but anyway the oscilloscope I guess is probably uh, something that in my mind was, uh, was an important piece of equipment to have and I was looking for and obviously uh, this may not be uh, the newest technology it's uh, pretty old uh, but you know not too old and it's not functional or use usable but uh, I would think that the analog gear uh, for my, uh, for me is uh, I, I prefer the old school as you know but the digital gear the digital gear would be uh, probably more accurate uh, easier to use possibly and uh, but uh, being that as it may, uh, certainly happy to have some old school equipment. So basically this is the oscilloscope and uh, I'll show you some uh, test leads later on in the video of uh, what I picked up also with this, uh, this package. The second item uh, that I want to show you uh, today is a uh, Hewitt Packard or HP 6024A uh, DC power supply. Excuse me, and basically you can see from uh, uh, the uh, print on the faceplate here, it's uh, 0 to 60 volts and it goes from 0 to 10 amps and it's a 200 watt uh, unit made by Hewitt Packard. Uh, the only thing about this <coughs> item that I took care of today, actually before I done the video, was I did a little modification on the power button basically uh, looks like a piece of the push button here uh, broke off and so it was really flush to the inner locking ring here so what I did is I unscrewed the locking ring I sprayed the switch of course but I sanded it down the inside of the ring and the outside that you're looking at here the outside edge basically making the uh, locking ring thinner and then I put it back on screwed it back on to the switch and now the switch sticks out a good, uh, good distance, and now you can actually physically turn it on and off. It's just the tip of the switch itself was missing. It was a little chrome ring, I think, goes here, and was missing. So you had to actually use a pin to push it in and out, and it was sticking. But now it's working just fine. Anyway, that's just a little modification that I thought of before doing the video, and. Uh, <clears throat> So anyway, that's a uh, regulated, uh, sorry, unregulated, it says, uh, power supply. It does say on the bottom here, uh, 240 volt DC max. Interesting, I don't know what that means, right down here. Anyway, something new, something for me to uh, to pick at and to, uh, you know, to learn how to use. Obviously, I know it's a, it's a, it's a power supply, so I could use it, you know, uh, from for generating power, uh, for radios or for anything that would need DC voltage. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, it's uh, positive and negative terminals here. I find it weird that it's too red, but uh, positive and negative, and I think this is a ground, an extra ground here. And you can adjust the voltage from 0 to 70, I would say, or at least 60, as is rated. And uh, you can adjust the current here. And of course, the uh, voltage meter here and the amperage meter. I'm not going to go into a major review, as you know. This is more of an overview of, uh, of a bit of equipment that I've picked up. But anyway, it, uh, 
it is a power supply, DC power supply, and uh, it looks like it would be something that could come in handy for somebody that might know a bit about doing uh, electronics repair, which is not me. The final uh, main item that I uh, picked up is a uh, function generator. It's a HP 3312A. And this is a piece that was of keen interest to the, to the seller. Um, it was his opinion that probably this item was uh, the most important when it comes to electronics repair and all that. I thought the oscilloscope would be uh, more important, but then, you know, that's the learning curve. But anyway, it basically uh, has your ranges up here, uh, on-off switch, and your different uh, ranges in Hertz, 1, 10, 100, 1K, 10K. 100k, 1m, and then you have function buttons here. It's AM and FM, SWP, and you can uh, sit for different uh, uh, cell modulations, I guess, uh, different tr patterns to um, actually show up on your scope, I would say, if you if you were to do uh, send an external single, signal out. And it goes to 13 plus uh, megahertz on frequency, apparently. <coughs> this button here. And... Uh, like I say, something for me to learn uh, uh, more about in the coming days, weeks, and months, uh, for sure. But at least I have it here now, and I have an opportunity to to proceed with that and uh, see if it's something that could come in handy for me someday. And along with this uh, equipment, um, I picked up some leads, basically. Um, uh, BNC leads. Uh, they have. Let, let you have a look at that. Uh, they basically uh, have nice long wires. Some of them are up to probably five, six feet long. And of course, uh, these tips here. Uh, made by Tektronics, I believe. Yep, Tektronics. And uh, has the the grounding wires with the alligator clips, of course. And these tips are removable. Very interesting. You can actually. Uh, Pull it back and lock it somewhere you know, on a circuit board, I guess, or on the piece of equipment that you're using. And the tips actually pull off, and then you have your just your your testing tip. That's just one set of leads. And uh, if you just bear with me, I'll, uh, I'll grab some more here. I know it's kind of awkward here to be trying to show all this. Basically, all these ends here are all uh, B and C. Uh, connectors as you can see and uh, <clears throat> nice long wires of course and then uh, very impressive uh, bunch of alligator clip wires that go to B and C uh, negative and positive or black and red if you want to call it that and some extra test leads regular ones and like these that I would call test leads or regular test leads and then the ones that have actual secondary uh, grounding capability I guess <clears throat> and they actually have switches on some of them too, so, uh, you know, it's, it's something to consider, uh, how to use all these things, and so you just have to proceed with caution and do lots of reading. I am looking for uh, user manuals for either of these pieces of equipment, or, well, basically all of these pieces of equipment. I have found... Um, um, a Chinese, a Japanese manual for the oscilloscope, uh, but it's uh, it's not the best copy. It's English and Chinese and some other language, probably Japanese and Chinese and English and whatever, all in combined into one user manual. <coughs> Basically, I'll just show you what it looks like. It's uh, just a printout here, and if you see. Uh, let's take for example, let's find a decent page, an instructional page here. Uh, let me find one with photos, be great. Here we are. There you see. Backed it off. Uh, there's ample information here, I would say, on you know on, on the meter. It's a bit cumbersome because you have the different languages printed there along with English. So, uh, uh, it's functional for now, I guess, but 
<clears throat> it would be nice to have uh, the proper just English version of the oscilloscope. Uh, I'm pretty sure the two Hewitt Packard pieces of equipment will be much easier to find uh, user manuals for so I'm pretty confident about that I, but then again if anybody out there has uh, documentation or knows you know, where I can find the physical file for decent information on uh, these pieces of equipment either or or all three I certainly would appreciate it very much but anyway that's the overview of the uh, three pieces of electronics equipment testing equipment that I picked up uh, and I just want to share that with you very happy a very uh, very contented customer and I gotta say uh, it was uh, a really uh, pleasurable day knowing that you're <clears throat> gonna pick up some uh, gear that you've been looking for for a while and of course it takes money and it takes time to, to find these things and um, it might be the best of equipment but uh, it's I guess it's a start somewhere to start anyway I want to thank you uh, people for uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please rate and subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day.